Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Mary Margaret and today we are going to be doing a collective summer try on video. I am so excited for today's video because I feel like I've been saving items for probably the last two months for this trip. If you haven't already watched part one, I will link it up here in one of these corners for you guys, but I already filmed part one of summer outfit inspo for my European summer with pieces that I already have in my closet. So if you're looking to travel on a budget or you just don't wanna spend a ton of money on a new wardrobe, then I definitely recommend going to check out that video and I linked everything that I could in the description. But for today's video, we are obviously going to be doing part two and this one will be more so of just like a try on haul whereas part one was more of like a styling video and kind of giving you guys tips and tricks on how to make multiple outfits with just a few pieces so today's video is going to be a little bit more fun because i'm showing you guys all of the new items that i've gotten so these are all pieces that i didn't previously own i will have everything that i can linked down below in the description so if you're looking for links to anything make sure to check down below without further ado let's just get right on into the video Here is the first dress from Free People. It is this beautiful like lavender purple color. Hopefully it's picking up well on the screen. It's such a comfy like material. The top part is that like ruching. So it's very stretchy and comfortable. And it also has a halter like tie part around your neck. So you don't have to worry about it falling down. And I am just obsessed with the open back. You guys know I love an open back moment. This part you can tie to like tighten it so that it doesn't drag down too low. And then the bottom is just like super flowy. I wish the camera could show the full bottom because it is just seriously beautiful. But this is the first one and so far so good. We're starting off on a really good note. Here is dress number two from Free People. This one is definitely a little bit more minimal because of the color. And I would say this is honestly more my vibe because I'm a very big neutrals girl, but I honestly love both. I've been branching out to a lot more color this summer. I love all of these like little details. I do have stickies on underneath right now. It's just so dainty and girly and I feel like this one screams like, European summer in my mind. It also has pockets, which is so fun. And the bottom isn't just like straight across. It kind of has like layers, if that makes sense. Um, but I really, really love this one. And I will definitely be getting a lot of use out of this. And like I said, I'm going to have everything linked down below. So if you're looking for any links, make sure to check out the description. All right, here is dress number three. And this color, really surprised me. I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I do. I don't really wear color a ton. So when I picked this out, I was like a little bit hesitant. I was like, dang it, should I have gotten like a white or a black? Just cause I know those are like my most worn colors, but I'm so happy I went with this green. It's almost getting like green apple, but I literally love it. This material is the softest thing I've ever put on my body. I wish you guys could feel how like comfy. It feels like loungewear. That's how soft it is. And again, of course it has a beautiful open back, which is my favorite. It goes all the way to the floor and I would not have an issue wearing this with just like sandals. Um, I am 5'6 for height reference, but this is so, so cute. And I know this one comes in a ton of other colors as well. Here is a dress number four. This one is a mini dress. So we are switching it up a little bit from all the maxi dresses that I've been showing you guys. This one is a super cute like crochet knit material. I love these little ruffle sleeves. I think it's so fun and it's ruffly on the very bottom as well. Right now I just have this paired with a bathing suit underneath because I didn't know how see-through this crochet material would be, but I honestly think I would be able to get away with wearing this as like an actual dinner outfit. If I just threw on like my skins, nude, bralette, and underwear underneath, I think that would be totally fine because it's really not too short in the back. I think I could get away with it if, as long as it's not too windy or anything. But here is that little ruffle detail on the bottom that matches the sleeves. And this one is just so fun and girly and feels very like flirty and summery. So this one is another one of my favorites, which shouldn't be a shocker because it is a neutral color. <laughs> okay, here's the next dress. It is a super cute, bright bubblegum pink color. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm obsessed with this. Again, the open backs. I guess that is like really big right now because I feel like almost every item I've tried on has had either like a fun or an open back, which I personally love. But again, this color is so cute, so girly. I love that this is a mini dress because I know I'm not gonna get hot in this if I'm walking around. It's very flowy and breathable and I would probably wear this Honestly, either with like a pair of white platform sneakers or just like chunky sandals for the summer. So that's probably how I'll be wearing it in Europe. But this is just such a cute dress to have. And I know this one also comes in a ton of other colors. The ties on this one, you can like tighten them as much as you want to like hold you in up top. And then there's also a tie on this part as well, similar to that first purple dress. It also has some simple detailing. Um, with like the pleats and I love the puff sleeves. Okay, here is the next item. This is a super cute tunic. I believe if you size up, you can probably get away with wearing this as a dress. Okay, I just checked the tag and I did an extra small just because I knew it was gonna be oversized. But I think if I would have stuck with a small or even a medium, I definitely could get away with wearing it as a dress. I still probably could now as like a cover up dress because right now I do have a bikini on underneath. Um, but I would probably either just wear this like to the beach, just like this over a swimsuit. But if I wanted to like go into town or like go to a restaurant, I'd probably throw on a pair of jean shorts to have on underneath just in case there's a breeze or anything. You could also always like tuck the front into your jean shorts, which would be cute but I absolutely love this one. It's like a gauze material almost, which is really nice and like lightweight. And then it does have pockets, which is really fun. All right, next dress is on, and this is a full length maxi dress. It's super long and flowy, and I'm obsessed with this color. This print is so cute. Here is a little bit more of like an up close shot so you guys can see what it looks like. The contrast of the colors, the dainty flower print, and all of this pleating going on. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you guys know I'm saving this as my birthday dress in Spain. So excited. I just like can't wait to be like running around the streets of Europe in this. This is probably the piece I'm most excited about out of this entire video. Just because it's so pretty, so. Here she is. I am obsessed. <laughs> I don't know what else to say because I feel like it speaks for itself. All right, here is the next free people dress. We have another fun open back and this one is a mini dress. I love this color. I feel like this one is giving grease vibes probably because of the blue, but it's so fun and I love like the different length pieces at the bottom like it doesn't just go straight across it's kind of like zigzag which is fun and there's some layering going on and the back just ties so you can make it as tight as you want it i know i keep saying every piece is so cute but i seriously am just in love with everything i've tried on so far so excited to take it all with me and i feel like fruit people just has the best summer pieces right now okay here's the next dress this color is a little bit different than all of the other like bright ones that i've been showing you guys so this one is a little bit more of like a muted yellow, which is super cute. I love the crochet detailing on the top. I feel like that is a common theme through all of the Free People pieces. Of course, this one has another fun open back. The ties are adjustable. And again, it kind of has like a layered frilly bottom. It's very lightweight and breezy. So this one's not gonna take up a ton of room while you're packing. It's pretty thin compared to like the big flowy maxi dresses. So this one wouldn't take up a ton of space in your suitcase. This next item is actually a swimsuit. This is a one piece bathing suit. Suit. I'm obsessed with the pattern on this one. It has like a deep open V neckline and then I love all of like the purple details. We have another open back and I feel like the coverage on this one is medium. It's not too cheeky but it's also not a full coverage bottom. And I'm going to throw on these free people pants on top. Here they are on. They're more of a low waist fit which normally I'm a high waisted girl so these are pretty different for me 
but I just thought they were so fun. I loved the color. They're like a thick linen material. Um, and they do have a little bit of like details on it. So you guys see like the line work, hopefully that's focusing. The waistband is made of like a rope material. They're like a very wide leg fit and the length is perfect for me. Again, I'm five, six just for height reference, but these are so cute. And I would even pair this with other bathing suit tops or you can even wear this to like go walk around if you put like a cute little bralette crop top with it. I think there's a ton of different ways that you could style these. Okay, this is the last item from Free People. It is a black knit mini dress. This is very different from all the other ones I've been showing you guys. All the other ones have been so like light and colorful, but I needed to throw in a little black mini dress. I feel like you can't go wrong with that. And I feel like at this point, it's just a given that it would have an open back. <laughs> um, I actually don't know if I tied it correctly in the back. I kind of just like made up my own little way of tying it. So I need to go and look on the website and see how they did it on the model. But I love this one. It's very form fitting, which is super flattering and I feel like this is really good for a dinner. You could also wear it during the day and dress it down, make it more casual with like sandals, but you could also style this up for dinner as a more fancy option. Okay, moving on from all of the free people items, this skirt is from Zara. I absolutely love this color, and the cool thing about this is that you could wear it as the maxi skirt, or you could also wear it as like a midi dress if I pulled it all the way up, so I'll show you guys that way in just a second. But this skirt is so comfy, so flowy. I love that it has like that ruching at the top. So it's super stretchy. And I wasn't planning on pairing it with this bikini top, but the colors just matched so perfectly. So now I'm considering bringing the swimsuit because I feel like it almost looks like a set, like it was intentional. I originally planned on wearing this with like a white tube top, but I honestly love it with the bikini too. And then here it is styled as a dress. So I just pulled it all the way up. And now it is more of like a midi length, which is still super cute. Um, so this is almost like a two-in-one. If I brought this, I could have two totally different looks with just this one piece. Next up, I wanted to show you some pieces that I got from H&M for a more affordable option. First up are these knit shorts. I love anything like comfy and easy to just throw on. So these are perfect for beach days. I could throw this on with a bikini top or even wear it how I have it styled right now. This is just a little bralette crop top from Urban Outfitters. I feel like this is an acceptable outfit if you're gonna be in a beach town area. So I would probably throw on a button up. Here are the knit shorts up close. They're very stretchy and I got them a little bit like loose and oversized. And then I also got this bright blue. This is like a cobalt blue, I think is the right name for it, but I love how vibrant this is and I would honestly probably wear this exact outfit style how I have it right now. It's just a blue linen button down. I believe I got this either in a large or an extra large because I wanted an oversized fit. I just think this is such a cute look and it's very my style, like simple and minimal, but then throwing on a pop of color for summer. Okay, this is the next item that I got from H&M. It's just a pair of like tailored shorts, which is very different. This is not anything that I typically wear, but when I saw them, I was like, that would be so cute in Paris. I feel like this is giving like Paris vibes, like very chic, put together. And I don't know, I thought it would be fun to try and style something different. So here's what they look like. They're just like a beige tan color. I think it's so cute. It has pockets and I love all of the pleating. Definitely needs to be steamed, but I don't know if I would pair it with this bralette, maybe. If I was feeling risky in Paris, but I'll have to style a few different tops with this to see how I actually want to wear it once we're there. Okay, this next item is actually from Forever 21, and I have not shopped at Forever 21 in years. It used to be like my go-to spot, I feel like, when I was in like eighth grade and freshman year, it was like one of my favorite places to shop because everything was just super affordable, so I haven't been in in a really long time, but we have one at the shops nearby and we were walking around and I was like, let's just go check it out. Like, you never know. So I actually ended up getting this dress. It is a really bright green color and it is like a midi maxi. It's kind of an in-between because it doesn't touch the ground, but also like 
just a little bit of my ankles show. I feel like it's a really good length for walking around. Super light and flowy and like breathable, so I'm not gonna get too hot. And they actually had a lot of other cute things. They were just out of my size and all the other stuff that I wanted. So if you have not been to Forever 21 in a while, let this be your sign to go and check it out and just give it a try because you might surprise yourself. All right, this next dress is from American Eagle, which again, I haven't shopped in this store in years, but Brinley went in the other day and she got really cute items and she was like, you guys need to go and check it out. So literally the next day I was like, let's just go see what we can find. And I actually got two things. So this is the first one. It is a midi dress and look at all of these fun colors. I love the tie back. And this one's actually really fun because you can tie the top multiple ways. I decided to do it as like a strapless bandeau shape, but you can also take these strings and tie them around your neck and make it a halter style. So you can get a few different looks out of just this one dress, but it's just super flowy. There's like tiered layers on it. And this is going to be so cute. I'd probably wear this with some chunky sandals and like a little bag. I am obsessed with this one. And I will say definitely go and look online because when I went to go and link it for you guys after I bought it, there was a massive sale going on online and I could have gotten it for like $20 cheaper than what I paid for in person. So definitely go and check out the link below before you go and look in stores. And here is the next item that I got from American Eagle. It's just a dainty little white tank top. You can't go wrong with a white tank top. I'll get so much use out of this. And I just thought it was so girly and like frilly that I couldn't pass it up. I love that it is kind of open in the front, but there are two ties right here. So you can make it like as tight or as loose as you want it. The straps are adjustable and I just have it paired with a pair of denim jean shorts right now, but I feel like you could style this a few different ways with like flowy pants, jeans, a denim skirt. So I think you could get a lot of use out of this and it's just a really fun summer piece to have in your closet. All right, this next item is from Princess Polly. This is actually the only Princess Polly piece I have to show you guys today. I'm hoping to have some more stuff in before I leave, but I still wanted to include this dress because I actually purchased this months ago when I saw it on their website, I was like, I need to have this dress for Paris. Is there anything that screams Paris more than a red and white polka dot dress? In my mind, this is like it. This is the dress for our Paris honeymoon trip. So I had to get it. It's a full length maxi dress with a V cut in the front. And there are little ties right here on the sides. I don't know if you can tell, but they tie in the back, which I love because it can like cinch you in right here at your waist and give you a good shape. I'm pretty sure I did a size US four. That's like what I typically wear, but sometimes on the Princess Polly website, I always make sure to check what what the model is wearing and like what their measurements are because sometimes items do run big so I'm either between a two or a four but for most standard websites I'm usually a US four and then for all of my free people items I don't know if I mentioned this earlier but free people typically runs a bit big so all of the free people items that I showed at the beginning of the video are a size extra small this next dress is actually from Amazon but I really wanted to include it because this is a newer item that I've gotten in the mail and I was really impressed with the quality and the fit so I wanted to show you guys because I probably will be bringing this with me to Europe in a few days so it is a full-length maxi dress some dainty straps a low scoop back which is so flattering and I'm just obsessed with all of the ruffles. I know this comes in hot pink and like a bright blue color as well but I am more of a neutrals person so I felt like I would get the most use out of a black dress but I really just love this so much. I've been seeing it all over my For You page and I just had to try it out for you guys because I needed to see what all of the hype was about, but I definitely stand by it. I love the way it turned out and I will have it linked down below. All right, this next dress is from a small business called Coco McCall. I'll have their Instagram username right here so you guys can go and check them out. They have such cute stuff. This is probably the only item I will be showing you guys from them today because I will be bringing this as my birthday dress in Paris. If you watch my other vlogs, You've heard me explain that situation a bit, but I just thought this was so fun and girly. It screams Paris in my mind, and I'm just obsessed with like every single part of it, down to like the puff sleeves, the ruching, the layers, and the pattern. Like this is just the perfect dress. 
and I'm so excited to get to wear it. Okay, next up, I wanted to show you guys some pieces from Revolve. So this is the first set. I love this blue gingham pattern. There's a little bit of like floral details on it. And again, I feel like this ruching is another big trend this summer. I've been noticing it in a lot of the pieces that I'm showing you guys and puff sleeves. I feel like a lot of the stuff has had puff sleeves as well, but I'm here for it. I love everything that's going on right now. I think this outfit is so cute and like easy to throw on. Anything that's a set is like an automatic yes in my mind because you really don't have to do any thinking or planning. You can just throw on the two pieces and you're good to go. But you can also always style these separately. Like I could pair this with white jean shorts, a maxi skirt. I could wear this with a white bralette, a tube top, a bathing suit top. So you can get a ton of use out of just these two pieces. I feel like this outfit is giving Paris. So I'll probably save this for that half of our trip. All right, next up from Revolve is this super colorful romper. I feel like this is definitely outside of my comfort zone because there's just so many colors going on, but I thought this would be super cute in Spain. I feel like Spain is probably where I'm gonna get a lot of use out of all of my colorful outfits. And I just loved the deep V, all of like scrunching details again, big puff sleeves. And I love that it still gives you the look of a mini dress, but it is a romper, so there are shorts right here, so you don't have to worry about like the wind taking it up, the shorts should keep it down a bit. I just thought this one was very fun for summertime vacations, so I had to include it for you guys. And then the last two items that I wanted to show you guys from Revolve are actually swimsuits, and it is the same style, just different patterns. So they're both this really cute one piece. It's kind of like a bandeau shape in the front with a keyhole right underneath, and then the back is pretty open with like a low scoop, which is so fun. And I just loved these colors, this pattern. There's like ruching going down on the sides and you can kind of like tie it as tight as you want. And then this is that exact same swimsuit, but just in a different color and pattern. This one is just a blue floral print, which is really cute. They don't come with padding, so that is something to know if you prefer that. And they also don't have adjustable straps. It's fully strapless, but I have tried both of these on and I didn't have any issues with it falling down. And the coverage on the back is pretty like medium. I wouldn't say it's like too cheeky, but it's also not full coverage. All right, I think that completes our video for today. I hope you guys got some inspo if you have any summer vacations coming up or if you just wanted a summer wardrobe refresh. But like I've mentioned before, everything will be linked down below. If you have any questions about anything, make sure to leave a comment and give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video.